For the last five years, an extra 150,000 cars have been newly registered in Kenya every year. It's no surprise, therefore, that fuel consumption in this country has risen by double digits each year to over 896,000 cubic meters of premium gasoline in 2012 alone. Liquefied petroleum gas consumption, however, has been pretty flat to just over 60,000 cubic meters a year. That's something that Hashi Energy, the country's fifth largest fuel retailer by market share, wants to change. It's eager to get more and more Kenyan cars running on LPG instead of gasoline. It is also going to be cheaper than petrol uh, because it's, it's main co mainly comparable to petrol. You're looking at 15 to 20 shillings uh, in terms of price difference litre to litre. It's also cleaner on the environment. You have lesser emissions to up to 20%. Aside from some trucks and buses assembled locally, most of Kenya's cars are imported from Japan. Converting them from using petrol to liquefied petroleum gas costs roughly $1,000. That's over 20% of average annual earnings in Kenya in 2013. For LPG conversions, you have three key components in the engine. Vaporizer, filter, injectors. Gas is delivered to the vaporizer in liquid form, converted into vapor, and flows through this hose, filtered and delivered to individual injectors, which inject into individual cylinders. Hashi Energy has been displaying the car across the country to gauge public interest, and company officials say they will adapt some of their filling stations to allow cars that run on gas to top up. Some potential clients, however, do remain a bit skeptical. The only question to Hashi will be how, how available will this be? Would they be able also to increase their, foot, uh, their footprint within the country? With a litre of premium gasoline costing up to a dollar and a half in Kenya, there's potential demand for cheaper or at least more efficient alternatives. Tax cuts on small capacity motorcycles, for example, were responsible for a surge in the number of these vehicles on Kenyan roads. But here, Gasoline is still king. Hashi Energy's bet is that someday LPG might just dethrone it.